Alright, so today I'm gonna show you how I made this vase that you just saw and uh, the whole idea that I want to make this vase is because it has a really nice pattern on the outside and I want to be able to make a file that I can scale and change the height very easily and still get a good result from. So I'm gonna make a few parametric values here in the design and hopefully you learn something and hopefully we can find a way to make some some cool uh, um, vases more or less. So let's just dig into Fusion 360 and start. Now the first thing that we're going to do is that we are going to go into modify, change parameters and we are going to add two of our own parameters. So you can do that by uh, doing like this, add user parameter. The first one that I did here is VD and that's supposed to be a no unit. So it looks like this, VD expression 60. So that's the value of it. Hopefully you can see on the screen, it's gonna be our vase diameter. We also have a HV which stands for height vase. Uh, and that's gonna be in millimeter and I just put in a value for now but we'll, we'll change that shortly. Now, first of all, what we want to do is that we want to create our 60 millimeter circle. That's going to be the base of our vase. Then I also want to make a um, offset on this one because we want to have our vases a little bit further away. So let's put it down three millimeters. We are going to do a um, small circle out here. That's going to be 10 millimeters in diameter. Like so, that's mostly everything that we need uh, not really but almost the next step we want to actually extrude this one here because we need to do this with the solids so let's uh, extrude this with the same value as our base is high so we'll put in hv directly here i want to see the sketch again here so it's not let's not hide that just yet and we also want to make a little bit of a radius <laughs> this to be totally rounded down here because that's going to be much nicer so let's say five millimeters should give us a, a good shape for the design of our vase like so let's go back to the sketches next step is to extrude this one here new object and we want to make it also dv or sorry v hv <laughs> which was the height of the vase. And we don't want it to cut, we just want to make a new sketch from it. And then we want to create both of these and we'll just drag them down, let's say five millimeters. Should be everything. Let's go down three millimeters. And then lastly, I want to take this one here down as well, six millimeters. And I want to chain for these ones here so we get a little bit nicer look on the whole model. Okay, there we are. Now we have a few values here. So let's just, let's start changing some of them here. So let's go back into the change parameters. I'm gonna make sure here that you can see. All right, so here you can see now. What I want to do is that we wanna go into the sketch here. First of all, our vase diameter it doesn't actually translate here. So if I change that for some reason, let's say 70, it doesn't happen in, in anything on the vase diameter. So the vase diameter should therefore be a value that it's absolute of the uh, VD, which is done in, uh, in millimeters. So now you see if we change this to 70, everything changes into 70. So this now takes this value, which is 70, um, and times it by one millimeter. So we get 70 becomes 70 millimeters. Let's go down as well to 40 and 50. That's super, that's, that's basically all we need. And because of this diameter as well, everything else is scaled up and down from it. So let's say 70. You see that everything below the model also follows along. So let's go with 90 and 40, yeah. Looks super good. Now we have something else as well. We have our extrusion height, which is the HV. So if I change the HV to, let's say 50, you see everything follows along. Works super. Everything's doing exactly as we want, but we need to do our calculations here because now comes the really fun part. So we are going to hide this one here for a second, save. And now we want to create a a pattern, a circular pattern using 
bodies. Select object, should be this object. Select axis, should be this axis. And let's start with uh, 18, for example. I think that's a pretty good value. <laughs> Oops, uh, I made a little mistake here. This first extrusion is not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be the whole outside. It's just supposed to be uh, this one here. Because yeah, um, we need to have this cut in when I don't want it to cut in too much. So that's why it looks like it looks. And we also need to change this sketch then because we need to have a, uh, an offset from this one as well. So let's say it should be minus four. There we go. Let's go back in history, change this profile to just being this one. Now it all works. Let's verify by changing the parameters to uh, 40. Yep, we still have our thickness as we want. But as you can see, the cylinders that we will use to cut away the shape that you saw on the base, they're not following along. So hmm, we need to do some, some smart, clever thinking here. Actually, I've already done it, so you can copy what I'm doing. Now we have this value of the pattern, the C pattern here. We have a value that is 18. Unfortunately, oh, by the way, you can't see, so let's, let's go ahead and make sure that you can do that. Before we do that, before we actually take this, I want to make this as a component, because then in this, we can actually activate this component and we can do it in here instead. I'm just gonna create the pattern in, in here instead, which is this body around that axis. And again, I'm going to start with 18. And this means that we now should be able to take this and remove, cut away with all components. There we go. So again, if we do any changes here in the parameters, let's say we change the radius to 40, um, the distance between the cylinders doesn't actually change. So you saw the, the circular pattern that I did. Let's just go back to 60. We need to find that circular pattern, which is this one here. So you see the value of 18 here. Now I have a, a small smart value that I want to add here. That is, let's see, um, VD plus six because of the offset. So we want to have the diameters plus three on each side because that was the offset for the where the cylinder was created plus six um, times uh, pi divided by 11 so that should get us a pretty good value so if we see now if we change to 90 we get many more so we now have 27 cylinders. Now what the question is here, why? One of the, the issues here that I'm facing is that if I change the value, let's say I go to 40, that should work fine. If we go to 50, that's also okay. 60 starts getting well, but then at 70, I need to reselect all of the, the shapes. So let's say we go to 100. We have to go back into uh, this combine tool and we have to select all of the bodies in here, which is a little bit annoying. I wish that we didn't have to do that, but apparently we do. Um, okay, so let's go back here into change parameters. We can change the height. Let's go to 70. That works fine. Works fine. So now everything seems to be working as we want. The problem is that as soon as we go higher than the value, that we did as maximum, we need to uh, uh, manually select more of these um, these shapes here. So what I can do just for fun is that if I create, let's say 150, that's probably, maybe 300 is probably gonna be the biggest base I'll ever do in diameter. And we'll just go into the tools here and we'll select all of the tool bodies here. Can we do select all? No, we cannot. So I need to manually select all of them and click OK. It's an annoying way. There's probably be a quicker way to 
like make this component a little bit easier to divide. But hey, that's that's how we do it. So now if you go back to change parameters, we'll have our favorite parameters up here. Let's only check at those. But let's change the height of the vase to 300 as well. Ooh, not three meters, that's pretty tall. 300, that's good. Now we have a really tall but thin vase. Um, let's make it, let's say 200. And the diameter can be, let's say 140. Yeah, now we're starting to look at pretty nice vases. One last thing that we could do as well is that we just add like a some sort of fillet in the inside. I think that looks good. Again, I don't want to print this big, so let's change the parameters to maybe 130, 30 tall. And in diameter, let's say about 90 maybe. That's probably gonna be perfect for whatever I want. So that is how we do it. I hope it uh, makes sense. I think it was is really fun and I think that this is the closest way I can do to have like an even distribution of, of circles or in this case patterns around the cylinder. Now I hope there is a smarter way. I haven't had any feedback, haven't really got any answers to how we can, instead of having to select all the circles around and cut them away, if we could do something with like, um, something to select the whole component and use that as a Boolean extrusion. Um, yeah. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vase. I think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, go and make your own vases. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.